Hello, and welcome to another Science Man digital lesson. Today, we're going to use some cherries as an example to discuss osmosis and how it can affect plant cells. You can see these cherries are wet from a recent rain. Unfortunately, rain is a serious problem for cherry orchards at harvest time. Extended periods of rain can cause cherries to break and burst, making them unsuitable for market. Take a close look at these cherries. They have exploded and are ruined. Why do ripe cherries burst when they are rained on? The answer is osmosis, specifically the movement of solvent through a selectively permeable membrane to an area of higher solute concentration. In the case of ripe cherries, the solvent is water and the solute is sugar particles dissolved in the cells of the cherries. If a plant cell is placed in a solution with a higher concentration of particles than inside the cell, otherwise known as a hypertonic solution, water will move by osmosis to the area of higher concentration outside the cell. You can see here the blue water vacuole in this cell is shrunken and the cell membrane has shrunken away from the cell walls. Now if we place a cell in a solution where the concentration of particles is similar to the concentration of particles inside the cell, otherwise known as isotonic, then the movement of water inside and outside the cell will be relatively equal. This results in a cell that's neither shrunken nor swollen. Finally, if we place a plant cell into a solution with a lower concentration of particles than inside the cell, otherwise known as hypotonic, then water will move into the cell. Observe the very swollen water vacuole. This is the problem with rain-covered cherries. As water moves into the sugar-filled cells of the ripe cherries, the skin of the cherry can no longer stand the stress and bursts. Dairy farmers will do anything possible to protect their ripe cherries. When rain falls at the wrong time, farmers will use large blow dryers to try to remove the water. Large orchards will even hire helicopters. The helicopters fly very low over the trees and the downward thrust from the helicopter blades blows water right off the cherries. Another tactic is to spray a solution of calcium onto the trees, which changes the water on the cherries from hypotonic to hypertonic, preventing more water from entering the cherries. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this digital lesson.